good morning myself uh, dinesh assistant professor the department uh, today we are going to start a, a new subject namely transmission and distribution uh, in an university curriculum the subject code is e6402 the paper belongs to your uh, power systems engineering so there are a lot of subdivisions available in your power systems engineering the fundamental one is transmission and uh, distribution in the forthcoming semester we are going to learn about power system analysis power system transients power system operation and control and power quality flexible ac transmission system these are all the papers we are going to discuss in the forthcoming papers for uh, that basis we are going to learn the transmission and the distribution it is one of the essential thing needed in your power systems engineering uh, whatever we are uh, generated in your power plants either it may be your uh, thermal power plant or a uh, hydro power plant nuclear power plant the generated power should be transmitted and uh, distributed in a efficient manner then only a consumer receives the minimum cost of your power supply that is your uh, per kwh one unit of supply is received to the consumers by the design of the transmission and distribution uh, such an important uh, paper in your uh, curriculum it is quite easy also you may easily learn this paper through this video learning uh, first i am going to discuss about what are the objectives in your in this paper the first objective is we have to develop expressions for the computation of your transmission line parameters so this transmission line parameters is nothing but the constants involved in your systems and second objective is to obtain the equivalent circuits for the transmission based on distance operating voltage for determining voltage relation efficiency so the basic need for all these equivalent circuits all the models in order to improve your voltage profile of the transmission system and third one is to analyze the voltage distribution in insulator strings and cables and what are the methods to improve the same efficiency if we distributed uh, via your insulator strings and cables what are the essential things we are going to consider to how to discuss and the last objective is to understand the operation of different uh, distribution schemes we have a lot of distribution schemes available in the transmission distribution like your direct current distribution alternating current distribution so we are discuss in detail in the forthcoming sessions so the unit 1 topic is structure of power system so in the structure of power system we are able to learn the basic structure of electric power system or one line diagram of electric power system with your generation transmission and distribution details we are going to discuss in details and what are the advantages while we using our alternating current and direct current which one is efficient we have to compare the details also and how they are superimposing your uh, direct current with your uh, alternating current for their particular application these are all the things we are going to discuss in the structure of electric power system generation transmission and distribution and the types of uh, ac and dc distributors as i said earlier there are two types of distributors available in your transmission distribution alternating current distributor and direct current distributor uh, we may have our uh, theory portion as well as problematic portion in this area and we are going to discuss with distributor concentrated and interconnected uh, loads for these kinds of loads we are going to analyze the distributors and next one is your ehvac that is extra high voltage alternating current and high voltage direct current transmission and what are the benefits we are going to discuss and the last topic is introduction to flexible ac transmission systems uh, it is one of the power quality phenomenon how to increase your transmission efficiency of the systems with the help of your fax controllers the transmission efficiency increment is possible so it is quite interesting unit and basic unit for your uh, curriculum and unit number 2 carries your uh, the parameters of single and three phase transmission lines i am concentrating both on single and double circuits and your syllabus also uh, it is included for your single and double circuits so for that uh, single and double circuits i have to calculate 
the resistance inductance and capacitance of three kinds of conductors that is solid, stranded and bundle conductors. And I have to discuss about the arrangement of your single and double circuits with your symmetrical spacing as well as unsymmetrical spacing and transposition of your uh, conductors. What happens if you transpose the conductors? And what is the given application of self and mutual TMD? And the uh, effects involved in your uh, transmitter line parameters is in effect as well as proximity effect. And what are the interference with neighboring communication circuits? Suppose we have a transmission line means we have communication lines also in the top of the tower. So what is the interference with your neighboring communication circuits due to the presence of your transmission line? And the typical configurations we are going to discuss, we have two kinds, one is electromagnetic effect and another one is electrostatic effect. We are going to discuss the typical configuration involved in your interference with neighboring communication circuits. And what are the conductor types we are going to discuss? And what are the electrical parameters and EHV extra high voltage lines? And last one is your corona discharges. These are all the contents available in the unit number two. We are going to discuss in detail. And unit number three is modeling and performance of transmission lines. So in this uh, unit, we are going to discuss about the classification of lines. So the lines are classified into short line, medium line, as well as long line. And following the equivalent circuits, we have to draw and the given phase or representation of phase or circuit, we are going to evaluate your lines and what are the constants involved in it. There are uh, two constants, attenuation constant, phase constant, and we are going to discuss about the surge impedance also. It is one of the important uh, high voltage phenomenon. We have discussed the parameter in detail and what is your transmission efficiency and voltage regulation the real reactive power flow in lines for the three cases of the lines that is short line medium line and long line we are going to discuss these quantities that is voltage regulation real power reactive power flow we are going to discuss and the next one is your power circle diagrams and what do you mean by sil surge impedance loading we are going to discuss what are the methods to control your voltage and last one is Ferranti effect so these are all the topics involved in the unit number uh, three and fourth the unit is insulators and cables. So in this unit we are going to discuss about your insulator types. There are so many types of insulators are available. We are going to discuss in depth and voltage distribution, how the voltage is distributed in the insulator string and what are the improvements of string efficiency and what are the methods to test your insulators. So these are all the topics we are going to discuss. The next one is underground cables and types of cables. Uh, capacitance of single core cable, grading of cables, power factor and heating of cables we are going to discuss and then capacitance of three core belted cable and last uh, we have discussed about the DC cables. So these are all the things we are going to discuss in unit number four. And last is unit number five, mechanical design of lines and grounding. So the mechanical design is very much important while we transmitting and distributing our power supply. So for the particular case that is mechanical design design of transmission line, we have to compute a sag and tension for the different weather conditions. So, so the transmission and distribution levels are various depends upon your natural calamities, either it may be a sunburn, winter, ottoman, whatever it may be the climatic conditions, uh, we have to check the sag conditions. And what are the tower spotting techniques in it and what are the types of towers for low voltage, high voltage, medium voltage. And what are the types of towers involved in it and what are the substation layout for AIS and GAS and what are the methods of grounding your electrical power system. So these are the topics involved in unit number 5. And what is the outcome from this course means you have to be able to understand and analyze the power system, operation, stability, control and protection. These are all things we are going to learn with the help of this paper. And the following textbooks are generally preferred for this paper, one of the standard textbooks. The first textbook is D.P. Kothari, Ivan Nagrath, Power Systems Engineering, Tata McGrath Hill Publishing Company Limited, New Delhi, 2nd edition, 2008. Second textbook is Seal Vajwa, Electrical Power Systems, New Academic Science Limited, 2009. And third textbook is S.N. Singh, Electric Power Generation, Transmission and Distribution, Patents Hall of India Private Limited, New Delhi, 2nd edition, 2011. And these are all the following reference book available for this paper. B. R. Gupta, S. Chand, Power System Analysis and Design, New Delhi, 5th edition, 2008. And Louis M. Falconberry, Walter Koffer, Electrical Power Distribution and Transmission, PSN Indication, 2007. 
had decided power system analysis, DSA publishing, third edition 2010. And Ray Bryan, Hartley, and Colin R. Bayless, Transcendent Distributed Electrical Engineering, fourth edition 2012. And the last one is G. Ramamuthi, Handbook of Electrical Power Distribution, University Plus 2013. So these are all the following topics we are going to discuss in the forthcoming uh, lecture sessions. I hope this course is very helpful to your uh, engineering curriculum. Thank you.